Hi, welcome to Blazing New Trails, and thank you for tuning in. Today I'm excited to share our review and the installation of the Halview BT6 Touch. Now, full disclosure, Halview did send us this unit and ask us to do the review, but we intend to be very thorough and very objective and tell you from our experience how we feel about this camera. Something you should know as well is <laughs> The timing on this was really perfect because we had just sold our 303 RLS and we did have a backup camera with that and it was a Furion and because it was old, maybe somewhat outdated, we decided to let it go with the trailer. So when we were contacted by Haloview, the timing was just absolutely perfect. A couple things about this video it's going to be divided up into two different segments. The first segment is the unboxing as well as the installation and then lastly we'll be doing our review and that will include several criteria. Ease of installation, the packaging, the robustness of the equipment and several other factors. So if you're in the market for a camera maybe this might be timely for you and might help you in making your decision. And having said that, let's get on with the review. Guess what just came? We got our camera from Halloview. Yay! Look at that. Okay. So let's see what's inside. Drunk. Here's the monitor and everything that I've seen online, the picture is crystal clear. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like, especially compared to what we were used to with our Furion. So it comes in a nice scratch-free bag, antennas, and here we have the camera. Uh, another disclaimer too is our 337 is already equipped. It's camera ready. So we're pretty excited about that. So hoping that that's pretty seamless. Looks like a stand. Actually, it's got a suction cup. So that's for the windshield. For the monitor. For the monitor. All kinds of wires. Uh, it's like power for the monitor from the cigarette lighter. A couple sets of cables. Uh, this looks like it's a cable to run it from a USB, maybe charge it. A back for the, the monitor, or, I'm sorry, the camera. Some, some more wires so that you can, I guess if you're not already camera ready, and then another, I guess, mounting stand if you choose to do it from your dashboard. Okay, so like we mentioned earlier, this is a camera ready attachment. So what I'm going to do is take the screws out and then we'll see what we've got. I'm doing this from our bicycle rack. I've done this before and the bike rack is very stable. So it's all good. All right, let's see what we got. So just a plastic housing here. And look at that. That's capped off. Little rubber cap. There's already a gasket on here, so I need to remove that. Because I need to put Halibut's gasket on. Definitely a press fit. And then some. That's soft enough. Oh, I think I, look at that. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's good. That is great. See if the holes line up. They just do line up. 
Okay, so we have a little bead of silicone there now. And I'm going to use a little bit of Goo Gone. And I've got a plastic scraper. In the background, you can hear my trusted sidekick and helper. And you would not believe the precarious position she is in just to get a close up. This thing really is ready to go because here's the connector. And the nice thing is, it's plugs. You got your mail side here, and it plugs right into the the wiring from the RV and then you've got the female side here and put it in and you turn and it locks in and the next decision I have is some, some of this will get stuffed into the camper and then the other little bit will probably go on the back side of this camera. Yeah, it looks like it has some space back there for the wiring. Yeah. I really like how this gasket is just really so pliable. Actually, all of that, I'm going to push all of that into the camper. How are you holding up? Okay. Oops. Now we'll see if it's uh It doesn't not, have an outer box on it, Gary. Not breakable. <laughs> this is a second attempt, I guess. Is that what you call it, Linda? Yeah. <laughs> So the very first attempt, we were just about done. And lo and behold, the camera slipped out of my hand and dropped 12 feet. This is something you don't want to do. And the camera broke. So this is a second attempt. And full disclosure, since this one was on me, we bought a new camera to replace the one that's broken. And I've got my little helper here. This is Hartman. Hartman <laughs> is my four-year-old grandson. And he's gonna hold my tools for me, aren't you, Hartman? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so you stand down here and hold my things for me. Hartman, can I have that tool? Oh, yeah, I got it, thank you. So Hartman, I hear that you like to go to the Home Depot classes for kids. What's your favorite project that you did? I no. I don't know. Okay. Herman, I'm gonna trade you. Okay? Here, let me let me leave the screwdriver up here. <laughs> okay. All right, here, let me hand you this one. You got it? Okay. Oh, I don't... Okay, you, you hold on to the antenna. Okay. I think this was about the point where it slipped out of my hands the last time. Yes, that's rain, you see. <laughs> kind of looks like snow in the camera. So one thing I'm doing here is, you'll see I'm not using a electric screwdriver because I, I want to be careful not to strip out the holes that are already there in the in the fiberglass. I also want to make sure I don't drop <laughs> my screw. But this is really an easy install. How of you really makes it easy. Screw on the antenna. Voila, the installation is done. The other thing you can do, you can adjust the camera on the, how close you want it to show to the camper or further out from the camper. But it's not, that's really a good 
snap in there, it's nice and firm. So, easy peasy, just the way we like it. You are a big helper. Can we shake hands? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big help. Everybody needs a good helper. That's right. Okay, I think we've covered the installation pretty well. So let's move on and, and talk about the different categories that we have and how we're going to rate the BT6 Touch. And while we're still kind of on the subject of installation, I'm going to go ahead and start with that first because for me, and I've talked about this in a lot of our different videos, I don't really consider myself a handyman. However, this BT6 makes me look like a pro. It was really easy and even though I had my my grandson, you saw him in the video, holding my tools and whatnot, uh, even a novice could, could install this piece of equipment. So. It, at first, it, it might have seemed to me a little bit overwhelming, but when it was all said and done, despite the fact that I dropped the camera, and <laughs> that made it maybe a little bit more difficult, but outside of that, it was really an easy installation. So on that, I'm going to give it five stars. Okay, next, I'm going to talk about the robustness of the packaging. When this unit arrived to us, it was very well packaged it was tightly bound in shrink wrap and each of the components were tightly fit inside it their own little cavity and I think Halo View did an exceptional job in their packaging and I think it's highly unlikely that because of that these pieces or any of this are going to get damaged during transit so just like with the installation I'm going to give Halo View another five stars Okay, we're going to move on now to the directions and how easy are the directions to understand. For me, I'm not really a printed direction kind of guy where I can pull out the directions and follow them in the print. I'm the type that I need to watch some videos or whatever. And full disclosure, I did watch a couple of other videos. The directions, they are very concise. I think they are fairly easy to understand, but since I'm not the directional type of a guy. I'm only going to give this maybe a four star. That's not to say it's bad, but that's just the way I relate to printed directions. So let's talk about the construction of the camera and the monitor. And on this, I'm going to have to say Halo View has, has done a, a very good job with the construction. Now, in no way am I going to gig them for dropping the camera. 12 feet onto a concrete street. That was my fault. But I've been in manufacturing my entire life and everything seems very soundly constructed. And I'm, I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far and the, the durability of the, the units themselves. So with that, I'm gonna give them a five star on, on this review as well. So I'm gonna move on now to the picture and the crispness of the picture and I'm thoroughly impressed with the picture that we have on our monitor it's almost looking or watching our TV it's just so clear so precise and it helps me to to better anticipate the traffic that's around me so with that if I could give Halo View more than five stars on this one I would because they really hit a home run on the picture quality so lastly, I'm going to talk about the setup, which also involves pairing. The good news is when you receive your boxed unit, the monitor and the camera are already paired. So you don't have to worry about that. For me, when I ordered the second camera, I had to repair those units. And that was a little bit difficult, but I struggled through it. You have a pairing cable there to, to help you do that if that need should arrive so make sure that you don't lose that pairing cable because that could be very beneficial and necessary for you in the future but the other thing that that you really have to be aware of is the length of your trailer and if you're going to be your monitor is going to be able to pick up the signal we struggled with that a little bit there was another accessory that Halo View provided for putting a, an antenna at the front of our trailer. But 
I didn't have to use that, fortunately. I was able to take that same antenna, it's a much larger antenna, so I swapped out the antenna that came with the unit with the accessory antenna. It took a little bit for the monitor to pair with the camera, but once I found a, a good placement for that larger or that longer antenna, there's not been a problem. And we've traveled probably 150 to 200 miles, maybe close to three, almost four hours without an incident, without an interruption. There were some issues beforehand where the monitor would freeze and we completely lose the signal. Uh, we, that has not happened with this new antenna and finding the right placement for the antenna. So with regard to the setup, some of that is on us because we have to find where the best placement is, not only for the camera and the antenna, but also for the monitor. Now, the flip side, and I'm gonna move on to the monitor itself, that touch screen is just so fun and so easy to use. And what, I'll, what I will say, there, there's some setups that you will have to do. Uh, the brightness, we had to play with the brightness of our screen as well as the mirror image. Typically traffic might be on you know, the driver's side. Well, it was showing it on the passenger side. So you have to make sure that, that you flip that out. So in closing on the monitor, what I'll say is it's very easy to use, get to know it, you know, just play around with it because there's a lot of great features. The touch screen just makes it so easy to move in and about different features that do come with the unit. So, all said, on this one, I'm gonna give it five. So if you are in the market for a camera, I don't think you can go wrong with the BT6 Touch. And Haloview has been kind enough to give us the opportunity to offer you a 5% discount just by following the link down below in the description. This is something that we will continue to use and we firmly believe in the Halo View product. Now we will make a small commission, but that allows us to do videos like this and be able to report back to you how we feel about products out there for the RVing community. So thanks again for tuning in, enjoyed having you and if you've gotten something out of this, if you would, please give us a like, maybe subscribe. We've got more videos coming. And with that being said, we'll look forward to seeing you on the trails. Bye for now.